morning guys what's going on what's going on fish king fans family we out here again we out here again beautiful weather beautiful day let's begin okay what's going on man what what it look like this morning big time how you how you this morning you good oh yeah you oh, good yeah. you good yeah man my man. battery won't come on your battery won't come well, on well i'm gonna check the power Check your power, man. Yeah. Already early this morning. You know what I'm saying? It don't make sense, do it, man. No, it don't make no sense. Make no daggone sense, man. Guys, it is spot time. It's time to go for spots. It's time to go for spots. Check foot action. Ah, boy, and boy, if y'all can move y'all feet like that, there, and then come back to the left a little bit, and then in out. You see that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's officially spot season, guys. And, and, and the spot run has begun. Whoa, y'all see that? So it's running those mullet right there, man. That is crazy. Right there. It's probably a lizard fish. Could be a flounder. Could be a drum. Who knows? But anyway, it's spot season. It's spot season, right? Spot season. It's spot come. season, man. We getting ready to go out here. We getting ready to get busy. Spots are the chicken. I ain't gonna call the chicken of the sea. Because a lot of people think blowfish are the chicken of the sea. But nonetheless, uh, This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. It's spot season, man. Spots are very, very fun to catch. I call it a family-oriented type, oriented type fish, whatever the case, because everybody can catch it. You can get in the boat, get in the channel out here. We're in Beaufort. Uh, a lot of you locals out here, you guys know where we're at. It's no secret. But I get in this channel, man. You can take mom, dad, sister, brother, uncle, uh, uh, aunt, uh, it doesn't even matter. And just, you know, get in the channel and just have a ball with these things, man. Two at a time, depending on how thick they are. But uh, these fish, they're pan fish size. Uh, they're, they're, they can get pretty, pretty, you know, I'd say about eight, 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 eight inch range is a good, good fish. Eight to whatever. I ain't never caught a 10 inch. I don't think I have. But they get pretty big, but it's good eating. Frying them up, man, having a fish fry. Everybody loves spots. You know, the gang, the, the uh, Wildlife Commission, they put a uh, they put a limit on them this year. We're only allowed 50 per year. I mean, 50 per year, 50 per person, man. But I mean, we figured that was coming away. The Wildlife Commission is really, you know, buckling down on our fisheries and everything. But I ain't even gonna get into that. That's a whole new story. But nonetheless, guys, I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna get to work. But by the way, guys, thank you guys. We thank you guys for your support. For, for continuing to watch us, I I, I got I got uh, I got blessed this week. I won the uh, WITN7 uh, news. I won photo of the week, man. It was a, it was a blessing. I felt real good about that, man. Uh, even though you had some uh, a few, you know, a few, <laughs> about a few negative comments up there, but you know, you, you got to look at it like this. You can't let people affect what you're doing in life in general. You can't you can't let people affect what you do or who you are. You can only do it better. And when you understand that concept, you'll be unstoppable. So it don't, it don't matter. We're going to continue to have tight lines, man, because we're blessed. We're in favor of the Lord, and this is who we are, man. So we're going to get it. So you guys stay tuned. I got my pole. Y'all see my truck. It's a nice truck, right? <laughs> it's a blessing from God. I'm a Ford, man. All you bow ties out there, Chevy's, whatever. It don't matter. <laughs> Yo, y'all stay tuned. We get ready to put some work in, all right? Peace. All right, guys, let me show you what I'm using. These here are the, uh, I know people spend a lot of money on blood worms, like $15, $16. These things work just as good in spot season. I lie to you not, man. So I just got these rigged up on a, uh, on a double G, which is no big deal. You know, uh, I'm gonna show you guys, show you guys exactly what I got. So you'll see the setup. So all I have is a uh, two ounce weight, depending on the tire. Uh, how fast the current's going, it, you, you know, you dictate you dictate your weight size by how fast the tide is moving or going out. And it's just, just it's just a simple double read. That's all it is. Tied on with these blood worms. So that's all it is, these artificial blood worms. And I'm in the channel. I'm in about 16 foot of water. And like I said, I, uh, um, I'm just casting out, man, and I'm just letting it drift. You don't want to have weight. I'm, I've, I've noticed with spot fishing, you don't want to have weight that's too heavy. I like to let mine drift just a little bit. It seems like when I let it drift just a little bit, it produces a good hit. So that's what I uh, prefer to use. And I just cast out in front of me. Real fun, real fun fishing, man. Real fun. I got I to gotta oil these things, man. That last video where I was catching the Kings, not Kings, but Spanish, man. 
uh, I was out there in the ocean, man, and that salt water just, it literally, it just, man, it pounded my reels out. You know, even after spraying them with uh, fresh water, it just, it did a number. It did a number, man. So, you know, I'm paying for it now. <laughs> I'm paying for it now. I am paying for it now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we, here's a hit, guys. There we go. Got one on right now. Oh, yeah. Feels like a spot. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Here you go. Spot. Oh, yeah. Small one. But this is what we get. Oh, well, nothing now. <laughs> he got off. So that's what we're catching. It's just these small these spots. They get a little bit bigger than that. I'm only keeping the ones that are pretty big since we're only allowed like 50. Uh, so. Let's go. Uh, and it's real simple fishing, man. No, I mean, real fun. Nothing major, but, you know, it's good in a frying pan. I mean, you catch a bunch of these, clean them up real good sit on the deck or the porch, fire them outside, and you know, just have family over, man, just have a good time, good fellowship, man, you can't beat it. So, I catch enough of these a day, man. I'm going home and uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get them cleaned up and uh, get the grease ready. Just call the family over to get something to eat. Oh yeah, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, double header. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what we out there, y'all. That's what we out there, guys. Yes, sir. Spots that size, though. It's a pretty good size spot. Every time they fill up your whole hand, that's a good size spot. Okay. Lord, now we're getting a hit on that pole. Throw this pinfish back. Get him out of here. Get my rag, y'all. Get my rag, y'all. So, information is key, guys. Information is key. So, what I like to do with my fish bites. What, uh, oh, you got a stingray? Better go and cut them off. So I cut mines up in little pieces, man. That way, you know, make fishing time effective. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Let's put it on my rig. I like to get rid of the old stuff, man. And like I gotta tell you guys, don't spend all that money, man. Do not spend all that money on, on, on blood worms and all 15, 16 dollars. Don't get me wrong, they work and they're awesome. Oh yeah, they are awesome. But I mean, no more than you know, spots not a every year, but not like an all year thing. So, man, look, just take, get you some artificial ones, man. Spending all that money. Just cast out, let it sink. I don't even tighten the line. I just flip the bill and I let the line just loosely float, just like that. And before you know it, do do do, do do do, you know? There are Spanish out here, man. They are jumping everywhere, too. Look at that. They're small ones that only maybe like eight to 10, eight to 12 inches maybe. It's not a lot of them. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, boy, I wasn't paying attention, man. Dog oh, boy, I was. That's a, might be a better fish. Good fish. Uh, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, that's a better, so, oh yeah, that's what we at. Yeah, that's what we at right there, y'all. Oh yeah, that's a better spot. Look at that. That's a better spot there. Better spot, guys. That's what we have to. But there's another one. There's a, oh yeah, there's another one. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good old spot, buddy. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. We're gonna have a good old fish fry. Yeah, man. Good old fish fry. <laughs> there you go. I don't know. I think he's a small one though. I think. Yeah, he's small. Guys, I think he's small. 
You know, he's not too small. He's a little better. Oh, yeah. He got some good size to him. This is what it's about right here, guys. I'm telling you, this is some good eating right here, man. You fry these bad boys up, hot grease. Damn, he got hooked real good. Fry these jokers up with some hot grease. French fries, coleslaw, and hush puppies. Fry them up however you want to. Butterfly them, cut their heads off. Whatever you want to do, that's what you do. That's some good fish. Oh. oh, there he is. Dried up over there. There's some fish, better fish it feels like. Oh. oh yeah, that's a better spot. Oh yeah, that's a better spot. Oh yeah. Well, good, better, good, 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 a good, better spot. <laughs> that's a better spot. All right, in the cooler you go, young man. In the cooler he goes, y'all. Up oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. I don't know if that's a spot. That ain't that's if that's a spot, that's a big spot. Ah uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's a spot. Good gracious. That's what you want. That sounds right there, y'all. That's a spot there. That's a spot. Three coals, y'all. Y'all hear me? Mm, mm, mm. When you catch them right there, though, and they hang out your hand, ooh, ooh, that's a spot there. That's our spot there. Yeah. Yes, sir. There's another one. All right, got another one, huh? Change positions, guys. Oh, yeah, that's a good little spot. Yeah. Good little old spot. I said, yeah. All right. There he is. There he is. It's a little better spot. Oh yeah. Double header. Double header, guys. That's what it's about, right there, guys. If you catch him two at a time like that, right there, you can't complain. You can't complain. That's when they're in real good. Oh, Lord, now I'm getting one on my other pole. Let me hurry up and get this one off. Oh, yep. Gotta hurry up, guys. Oh, look at the hit. Look at the hit. Oh, he stopped biting. Let's see. I feel like he got a little bit of better size. Oh, yeah. He a little better. Oh, yeah. That's some good old big spots. Big spots. That's what we got to. Big spots. That's what we got to. I think we got another one, guys. He might be small. Yeah, he's small. Well, he feels small. Well, he's coming to the boat. I think he's coming to the boat. Ooh, good size spot. Good size spot. Ooh, come here, cut it out, cut it out, cut it out. See if we can't get us a Spanish out here. You got him? <laughs> Portland locked up with a Spanish guy. School has come through here pretty thick. Oh, look at them. They're busting out there. They are busting out there, man. Man, what the crap? Swimming. No, he's not. Nope. God. That's a nice Spanish. Hey, 
Just come on, big boy. Get out of that one. <sighs> nice Spanish. Good, great. <laughs> Spanish? Nice Spanish. Nice old Spanish, y'all. Hmm. Well, I was trying to show y'all the hook set, but unfortunately, unfortunately, he might go about 20 inches, y'all. He may just go about 20 inches. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Nice Spanish. He'll go off. Uh, he'll go. Go about right at 19 inches. Hey, Chris. 19. Oh, well, what? Yep. Yeah, yeah, be like that sometimes. You know what I'm saying, man? You know what I'm saying, man? No, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a black John. Jerk, let me get this joker right. Let me see. Man, he's a little small. I want him bigger than that. That's still a good catch, guys. Still a good catch. Still, I didn't have to net him, but you know. What a day, what a day, man. Beautiful day. I'm tired now. Uh, caught a few spots, nothing major, nothing to brag about. We did catch spots. We got on some good size Spanish, man. Uh, Spanish run was pretty good, man. Those guys, man, they, they, this is the most plentiful. I've seen them in a long time, man. But uh, we, caught, uh, we caught quite a few spots, man. You know what I mean, nothing major. They're starting to trickle in. It's not the big mecca that we were looking for. But nonetheless, any day out is better than a day at the house. So, you know, what can you say? We fishing, so we enjoyed every bit of it. Appreciate you guys checking us out, man. I'm tired. Oh, <coughs> yeah, bless me. I'm tired. I'm getting ready to go home. Cause my hair ain't been cut. You see that? You got the George Jefferson thing going on. Hair ain't been cut, but I'm getting, we getting ready to call it a day, man. We're heading home, get these fish cleaned up, relax, chill. Thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. You're great. We love you guys very much. If you, it's the first time seeing our videos, please like, subscribe, and share. Join our journey, man, as we keep tight lines. Bless you guys. God is good above all things. Tight lines. Peace out.